We're next to Philano in uh, Sturgeon County, Alberta. Highway 44 and 633. And the very few roundabouts on provincial highways in Alberta. Not everyone uh, understands the roundabouts perfectly, given that they're so rare. But they learn. That's a 100 km per hour highway that way. Small local access that way. And an 80 km per hour highway over there. There's no requirement to stop here, unless there is, in fact, other traffic in your way. In contrast with most provincial, intersec provincial highway intersections in Alberta, where you usually have at least one direction, possibly all four directions, facing a stop sign or traffic light. A, not very efficient, and B, not very self-enforcing, as the humble bus crash can prove, even when the sign is a meter wide. On what's like this have only eight conflict points. Well, this particular one happens to have a right turn bypass lane, so that's one extra conflict point, but normally that's not present on highways like this. Normally they are just forearm without bypasses. Trucks easily traverse this roundabout. In spite of the adverse camber, motorcyclists too. And yes, huge trucks like that one. Australians call them road trains. Ooh, looks like we have a big truck, even bigger than normal. Better get back, actually. <laughs> That is one feature that cyclist is not one you'll find on the Dutch system. They have ex exterior paths around it. A little bit of a jam today, caused by that truck, but it recovers pretty quickly. Fast than those intersections would. Design speed is approximately 40 kilometers per hour, and that is indeed how fast it felt safe to drive this thing when I was in this, when I came here today. People with RVs also traverse this intersection well.
Nice little church there. In case you're wondering, there's a provincial election going on in Alberta, so that's why you'll see signs like this in some of the videos today. Roundabouts are far, far safer than basically every other type of intersection you can design. There's uh, there's so few points. The speed is self-enforcing and it's slow relative to other speeds that you could have if this was a straight forearm crossroad or three-arm crossroad. And they're proven to work. The Dutch have adopted thousands of roundabouts like this on their distributor roads. Many of them in the rural areas. Some auto uh, that would be auto road. You can't tell. Which have speeds of 100 kilometers per hour also have roundabouts on them, like this. Although they don't usually. Given that they're normally expressways, like actually not too different from roads like this Highway 44. We're about eight kilometers from St. Alberts, and about and about 18 kilometers from Edmonton. Roundabouts are a solution to many traffic problems in Alberta and around the world. Alive so that you don't have to bury your child under six feet of earth.